But we're trying to do is to restore the Everglades to where they was before the 1900s. These Everglades, it's surrounded by Miami Beach, by Naples, but the Keys and everything else. My name is Juan Mendez. I live and work in the Everglades. Every time, wherever I go, I always hear this place was better. This, or you should have seen this place 20 years ago. And, and we cannot keep on with that same legend. We have to stop and say, look, this place is better now than it was 20 years ago. If we're really going to do a restoration of the Everglades, the restoration implies everything. Implies wildlife, implies plants, implies the water. If we don't start in one way or another, we're never going to start. The water, what it has to be, is to allow the water to move as natural as it was possible. When are you going to be able to do another Everglades? Right now they are talking about the CERP, Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Project. There's no way that they can restore the Everglades unless they would take all the barriers. So that's not going to happen. It's going to be Comprehensive Everglades Repair Project. This is not going to change the world, the fact that we're trying to remove the trash inside of that culvert. That's a, that's a very localized problem in, among a lot of others. These little micro projects, what they are hopefully going to do is that they're going to wake up the conscience in some people. That they will say, hey, if that guy is doing it, why don't I? And maybe, maybe one day in 20 years from now, we have an Everglades that we can feel proud of.